Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, I've got polish off one end and on the other one. I'm like going a little crazy here today. Um, I'm going to show you just some of the polishes that I have purchased in the last probably month or so because um, I've collected a several and I thought since I wanted, since some of you wanted to see my polish collection before, maybe you'd want to see what I've gotten recently. So I'm going to start out showing you just the um, liner polishes that I've gotten. That's a little better. Um, these I got at like my dollar store. Um, these, yeah, I was very excited to see them there. This is a purple with sort of some glitter in it. I don't even know if they have names on these colors, so I'm not going to go through all that, but it's purple with glitter. This is a silver, non-glitter. Here is a red glitter. That one looked so pretty. This is an orange. It looks red in this camera, but it's, a, it's definitely orange. This is a regular green and then a green glitter. So yeah, so those are the stripers. And I really do like this brand of striper. The, the brushes tend to be pretty good. So that is my striping polishes. Um, also at my dollar store, I picked up a couple of LA Colors um, polishes. This one is called Megawatt. I had to write it with a Sharpie so I'd remember the name because it was on the package but not on the bottle. And this one is called Wavelength. So that is these. This one's actually got a little bit of shimmery stuff in it. It's pretty pretty. This one's shimmery too, but you can tell that better. Then I also have this LA Colors. This one is sort of a teal color. This one, I have no idea what the color is because I don't think it says. So it's a teal. It's kind of nice and cream color, so I like that. I thought it was a neat shade. I have purchased a few um, Pure Ice colors. I will show you all at once. Here they are. Ta-da! This yellow, cream yellow, just got this today at Walgreens. This is called Yellow Polka. It's a cream. I'm hoping it's going to stamp good, but we'll see. I'll test that out and let you know. Pure Ice, um, first time. This one does stamp well. I've tested this. It's a nice metallic green. Love this color. It's so pretty. And then this one is a sort of yellow gold shimmer. I don't expect it's going to be a stamping color. I'm pretty sure it's sheer, but it's called Jaguar. So those are the pure ice. My Sally's got their crackle polishes in. Yay! So I was able to complete my collection. Now I have the black. I'm so pumped. I think I'm going to use this next. And the purple, which I wasn't originally going to get, but um, I've seen a couple people use it and it looks fine. So um, I had to complete it. I just, I got to be even that way. Um, I also picked up recently a finger paint. This one's sort of a copper color. I thought that one was kind of cool. That color is called Figure of Art. I thought that was kind of neat. This one is another Insta-Dry color. I don't really have any deep reds, so I thought I would give that one a shot. It's called Wind Up. Then, um, oh, a pure ice that got away. Silver glitter. Nothing spectacular about it. It's called Beware. So beware, ha <laughs> ha. And then today at my Walgreens, Wet n Wild were 69 cents a piece, so I picked up three colors. I'm going to test this black because I've heard that this is decent for stamping, so we'll test it against my Ebony Hates Crest and see if it's any good because for 69 cents you can't go wrong there. An orange color, it looks a little more yellowy in this camera, but it's kind of a yellowy orange anyway. So there you go. It's called Sunny Side Up. So there you go. It's about the, si about the color of a, an egg yolk, only a little orangey, more orangey. This one is called Mauve Frost. Not an original name, not a super original color, but I wanted to test this one and see if this stamped because I thought that'd be kind of cool if it did. And then this one I just bought a Love My Nails. This is a super cheap polish I got at Walmart, but I thought it was the coolest thing because it's got these larger iridescent hex glitters in it. So even if I don't use it to paint on, I might be able to actually pluck some of those out of that bottle and use it and put them where I want them. Because I cannot find hex glitters really anywhere, and I'm not ready to order like $50 worth of stuff to get some hex glitter. So anyway, that one I thought was pretty darn neat, and I think that one was like, it was less than a dollar. Then, oh, okay, do you hear angels singing right now? I'm so excited. 
came in the mail today, n 2 This is their holographic polish. This one is supposed to be amazing holograph. And it was more than I would probably ever spend on a bottle of polish, but it's so pretty. Look at how pretty it is. Um, but I am going to test this out today because it's a sunny day outside. I cannot wait to see me some linear holographic. So probably not showing too well on the camera. I don't even have my special lighting on because I was just trying to get this um, kind of haul video out for you. Um, but I was, this is my, I uh, love, love this polish. So excited. Then I guess I can show you while I'm still here. Um, I bought some stuff from Born Pretty Store. And their, their stuff came really fast for coming all the way from China. I was kind of excited. Um, I bought some Conad dupe plates. Here are the plates that I got. This was the one that came for free. I was so excited. I got this as a free promotion. Look at the Hello Kitty. It's so cute. And the dolphins. And an upside down kitty cat. Look at how cute. Oh, love. I can't wait to try this. These actually, this one I don't think has the plastic on it, but some of these other ones do. This is a dupe of a Conad plate. Um, M65, I'm not sure. I think the numbers might be the same as in Conad. Um, this one does look like it's got, not only is it in the plastic package, but it has that plastic film on it. So I haven't even taken these out yet. But they look like they're pretty decent as far as detail. I mean, they don't look really muddy. So I'm kind of hoping that's going to be cool. And then I also got um, M69. Born Pretty Store. Their plates are on sale right now. $1.55 a plate. I was so pumped I had to like buy a whole bunch. And they came within like two weeks. I think they did a pretty good job shipping them. M77. Thought that was cool. And then lastly I had to get me one with some fruit on it. M55. Very, very cute. That's going to be great for summer. Look at the little strawberries. And the watermelon. Oh, so cute. I can't wait. going to play, play, play. So I got those from Born Pretty Store. I also got a set of liner brushes. You can see there's like a super long, medium, and short. Um, these are really good price. I haven't taken them out yet to see. I got a little fan brush because I wanted to um, use this for when I'm applying maybe glitter and things like that. Got also another stamper and scraper. I don't have this little teeny one. I think this one is like super cute. So. I'm, I got an extra one because they were so cheap. This is like on sale too, like $1.55. Seriously, I was so pumped. And it's free shipping, so that I totally recommend it. In fact, I'll put a link to their store down below. Anywho, that is those. And some uh, Love Pink 27 wanted to see my Conad plates, but since this video seems to be sort of long, I think I'm going to just... Um, Stop here, and I will make another one showing the, the Conad plates. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching if you did. <laughs> Bye.